Blackberries are one of my favorite fruits, and these blackberry crumble bars are one of the perfect ways to make them. Hi everyone, I'm Daniela, and let's get baking. You'll need to start by lining a 9 by 13 baking tin with parchment paper. If you're looking for an easy way to line your tin, check out my video pinned in the description below. Start by grating one cup of butter, 226 grams, into your bowl. You can also cut this into small chunks rather than grating it, but I find grating is the easiest way. To your bowl, add 240 grams, two cups of flour, and 100 grams, one cup of oats. And you're just going to start working that together with your fingers. I love the texture and the nuttiness that oats bring to this recipe, but if you don't like oats or you haven't got any on hand, just sub out one extra cup of flour rather than using the oats. We're gonna keep working it in a minute, so this is fine for now once that butter is starting to break down a little bit. To the dry mix, add in 50 grams, half a cup of light brown sugar, or whatever brown sugar you have, and half a cup, 50 grams of granulated sugar. If you only have granulated sugar, just use one whole cup, 100 grams of granulated sugar. Now we're adding in two grams, half a teaspoon of salt, four grams, one teaspoon of baking powder, and six grams, one teaspoon of cinnamon and we're going to just work that all together. Reserve half of your dry mix in a separate bowl. That's going to be our topping. To our remaining half of the dry mix, we're adding in one egg, and this will help bind everything together. That's ready. We're going to spread the eggy base mixture into the bottom of our baking tin. So just really press it down so that it hits all the edges. Spread it into a really even layer all the way across the bottom. Let's set that aside while we prepare our blackberries. I'm using wild blackberries, but any soft fruit like cherries or raspberries or even peaches would work really nice in this recipe. Or forego that all together, grab yourself a can of pie filling, your favorite flavor, and sub out the fruit completely. For this recipe, you'll need four cups, 500 grams of blackberries. To this, I'm adding three quarter cups, 75 grams of granulated sugar. However, if your blackberries are very sweet, you can cut down the sugar a little bit. And likewise, if they're very tart, you can boost it up a little bit more. I'm also adding in one tablespoon, 12 grams of cornstarch or corn flour, and one tablespoon, 15 milliliters of lemon juice. And we're just going to stir that together. The cornstarch will coat the blackberries and it will make a thick syrup so that when our bars cool, they're nice and easy to cut and this doesn't spill out of the center. That's done. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Pour your berries on top of your base layer. Make sure to get all of the sugar, the juices, out of the bowl with them. And then just spread them into an even layer all the way across. All that's left to do is sprinkle on the top layer, the crumble. And again, you want a nice even layer of this all the way across just breaking it up in your fingers as you crumble it over. Those are ready for the oven. These will need to bake for about 30 to 35 minutes or until they're golden brown on top. You'll want to let these cool completely before removing them from the pan and cutting them. This recipe makes 24 bars. These will store on the counter for about three days or in the fridge for up to a week. If you have an abundance of blackberries, why not try my small batch jam recipe? I've made it with raspberries, but you can just as easily swap out and use blackberries instead. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.